everybody, today I'm going to pre-record the picture book read aloud because on Fridays, Eric and I are going to be busy getting the things together that we're going to send home with you for the next week. So we'll do our one minute meditation today and then I will read you the story. So hands in your laps, eyes closed, facing forward, the time starts. There's the timer. Okay, today's story is A Wood Frog's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. In spring, a wood frog lays her eggs in a pool of shallow water. Three weeks later, the first tadpole hatches. Tadpoles spend their first few days hanging from the egg mass. Each tadpole munches on algae that grows on rocks at the bottom of the pool. As time goes by, the tadpole grows and legs appear. Soon the tadpole takes his first breath of air. Just two months after hatching, the tadpole has turned into a frog. He hunts for small flies near the edge of the pool. As the frog grows, he moves farther into the woods. The frog skin blends with dead leaves but some enemies can still spot him. After a summer of eating, sleeping, hiding, and escaping, the frog gets ready for winter. What kind of animal do you think this is? He sleeps below the leaves during the cold winter. A sunny spring morning wakes the wood frog. This wood frog does not look like a morning person. He looks for a shallow pool. So do other wood frogs. For the next few days and nights, the frog is noisy. He calls, his call sounds like a quacking duck.
Then the wood frog returns to the woods. All summer, he searches for food. When the weather grows cold, he finds a cozy place to spend his second winter. The wood frog hibernates through the coldest days and nights and wakes up on a sunny spring afternoon. Once again, wood frogs head toward a nearby pool of water. This year, the wood frog's quacking attracts a female. The frogs mate in the water and the female lays hundreds of eggs. After a few days, the wood frog returns to his summer home, the woods. But something blocks his path. He is kissed by a girl looking for her prince. The girl does not harm the wood frog. She returns him to the ground. For the rest of his years, the wood frog will spend most of his time on the forest floor. And each spring, he will add his voice to the wood frog chorus. Okay, everybody, have a great weekend. I hope that you enjoyed the first art class for today. I can't wait to hear about it on Monday. Remember that we have student conferences on Monday. so. The first thing you want to do Monday morning after our 8.30 announcements is get all of your things organized so you know where all your work is. Put them in piles of unfinished work and finished work. Okay, bye-bye.